to share with you guys this video that I've been working for three days. So let's get started! I found this jacket habang naghahalong patahon na kung ano-ano dito sa bahay and I got this idea to turn it into something fashionable. I also got this in dark blue but I'm gonna use this wood one because I really like the color plus it has embroidery that made it look so vintage. Yes, this is a perfect victim to turn into a masterpiece. Ha 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 ha! First thing to do is sukatin yung jacket at lagyan nito ng pin or ng tanda kung saan mo ito gugupitin. After natin lagyan ng pin, guguhitan natin to ng straight para alam natin kung saan natin ito gugupitin. Well, this is not your ordinary biscuit can. <laughs> Disclaimer! I'm not a professional seamstress, so it's gonna be a trial and error process. Kailangan kong sukatin maya-maya bawat step na magagawa ko. So here I am checking kung tama ba yung haba. After natin masigurado yung sukat, gugupitin na natin ngayon. So, after kong gupitin, nilagyan ko ng perdible yung ilalim ng zipper ng top to serve as lock para hindi matanggal yung pagka-zip. Sinukat ko ulit dahil babawasan ko yung sa sleeves dahil masyadong maluwag. Tapos, ififitted ko naman yung skirt. Uunahin ko yung skirt, tapos lilinyahan ko ng straight yung kaninang nilagyan ko ng pertible. Lalagyan ko ng pin dun mismo sa linya na ginuhit ko. At gugupitin ito 1 inch away mula sa linya para may allowance kapag tinahe. Tutupiin ko ng 2 beses yung dulo at tatahiin na ito. I'll be using the back stitch technique. So this is what back stitch style looks like. So habang nagtatahi ako dyan, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo how I cope with stress, anxiety, fear, worry, as well as my boredom during this quarantine. Naks, lakas mga psych major. <laughs> Yun, I wanna share how I take care of my mental health because mental health is important as physical health. First, I wake up early in the morning. nag alarm ako ng 8am and it just makes me happy and alive. Feeling ko naumpisan ko yung araw ko ng maganda pag maaga akong nagigising. Pero kung late ka nang nagigising, try to wake up one hour earlier. Take one step at a time. Back to business, pagkatapos kong tahiin yung sa likod, yung hook naman yung next natin na tatahiin. Kinuha ko yung hook dun sa dati kong uniform na hindi ko na ginagamit. Resourceful. <laughs> Ngayon, yung sa ilalim naman ng skirt yung tatahiin ko. And tutupiin ko siya ng twice, tapos lalagyan ng pin, tsaka ko siya tatahiin. 
box stitch style pa rin ang gagamitin ko. Balik tayo sa how I take care of my mental health. <laughs> Tip number two. I do not watch news as soon as I wake up. I don't touch my phone. I know we feel responsible na dapat we are updated about what's happening na sa mundo natin. Pero I don't want to start my day with not so good news. Manonood daw ng balita in the middle of my day. Not in the morning, not before I sleep. And I always make sure na manonood din ako ng something na positive to balance my mood. Same steps for the back side of the skirt. Pero, hindi na ako gumamit ng pin dahil mas madali pala kapag wala siya. I mean, kapag wala yung pin. <laughs> Yay! We're done with skirt. Now, let's move on sa top. Ginuhitan ko muna yung desired kong sikip nung sa arms. Ganun din sa right side. And nilagyan ko ng pin dun mismo sa linya na din drawing ko. After ko malagyan ng pin, ginupit ko na half inch away from the line. After ko magupit, I fold it twice at nilagyan ko na ng pin. Tatahiin ko na and still box stitch style pa rin ang gagamitin ko. So, I'm gonna share my tip number 3. Anong una kong ginagawa pagkagising? I make my bed. A bed made is my first achievement of the day. It gives me pride and confidence that this day will be better. Meron akong speech at school about bed made. So, let me interrupt ya and show you a clip of that. So, same steps for the right side. Then, now for the last step is yung ilalim ng top. Iho fold ko lang ng twice, lalagyan ng pin, and tatahin ulit ng back stitch style na technique.
and for my last tip on how I take care of my mental health during this lockdown is I keep in touch with my friends. Social distancing means physical distancing. It doesn't mean na kailangan mo na din mag-disconnect pati sa social life mo kasi social isolation is definitely not good for mental well-being. Social, social. Nabubulo sa social. <laughs> Ito, share ko lang ta guys. Bata pa lang ako, mahilig na ako magtahi-tahi. Then, nung elementary ako, may project kami na magtatahi ng bag out of flour sack. Tapos, hindi na binalik yung akin. Ginamit na ng teacher ko. Siguro, nagandahan siya sa tahi ko. <coughs> share ko lang ulit. I'm really fan of repetitive movements. It makes me calm. It makes my thoughts disappear. At hindi ako nabubored kahit na paulit-ulit yung step ng pagtatahe. Also, I find it super satisfying lalong-lalo na kapag straight yung pagkakatahi ko. Yeah, this is surely a therapeutic way to spend your quarantine days. At sa sobrang nag -e enjoy ako dito sa pagtatahe, Ayan, inapot na ako ng dilim. <laughs> Yay! We're done! Darling, you send me, I know you send me, darling. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And if I sound slow, I'm so sorry. Sinis po na ako. So stay safe, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Adios! Darling